Hey there, true believers. Rain Kizarag, you're the one with the stories, Path of Destiny. Well, last time, we rescued our friend, and we had another friend get burned alive. Not in that order. Uh, and now, we're either going to uh, try to kidnap a emperor's daughter, or go after the core of the god killer. I think we're going to try to kidnap the, uh, the daughter, because that's a lot of leverage, even if we can't win the war with it. Zenobia wasn't just the Emperor's daughter, of course. She'd been Renato's best friend in Swordfu school. And you're still mad for her, the rabbit reminded him. They'd been close. She'd told him things no one else knew. But she'd never told him who she really was. She knows all the Emperor's plans, chuckled the Master Spy. She won't give them up easily. <laughs> She'll tell the interrogators, all right. Said Lapino. Taking her would change the game, all right. Well, theoretically. Alright, let's see if this is going to blow up in my face or not. I'm wagering that it will. The city was already under Zenobia's control. I had to admire her efficiency. Renato shivered at the thought of Zenobia at the mercy of the interrogators. Could he really turn her over to them? But this was war. It wasn't meant to be pretty. Stuff, stuff up there. I missed stuff up there. Okay. My cabbages. Okay, let's carry on. Okay, so. Oh, can I go back up? Just like I think I, I can't okay another time another, another time another place yeah I can't get in there that's all that matters okay so so we got we gotta spend some time metal gearing through here. That's cool. Not enough to get me a uh, water sword, maybe the ice sword, but you know. Okay. Handle this little by little. Bad time. Bad time to run. Metal Gear. Colonel. Etc. Lapino. Didn't your mother tell you it's rude to stare? Snap Renato, a little smug. Cool. Alright. Open this up. Next stealth section. If you look this way. Teehee. Easy. Easy as can be. Can't use that yet. Oh, is that Lapino? Are you. Why, how are you here before me? So. What's this plan of yours? Use me as bait, said Lapino. And he outlined a slightly complicated plan that involved geese, a net, setting the farfare a little bit on fire, Lapino dressing as an old blind toad, and Renardo hiding inside a monstrous watermelon. What could possibly go wrong? thought Renardo. That. Uh. You know what? Sure. Let's do the let's do the thing. Oh, this is gonna be fun," said Lapino as he ran to go set up his marvelous plan. Now, yeah, why not? Let's uh, let's humor him a little bit. Can I get this new sword yet? No. I'm like halfway there. A little, little bit on a prayer. He wasn't that good. 
yet. No. Can't hold them up. Hey, how's it going? Competition, guys, please. What the You guys are a joke. Hey, Filipino. What's... Renato felt dubious about the whole plan. With every step, he was waiting for it all to go horribly wrong. But against all odds, the Pino's idiotic plan worked. Zenobia's ravens ran off after the geese, the net dropped, and Renato jumped out of the watermelon and put his sword to Zenobia's throat. Renato, she said. Are those new scars? They look good on you. Thanks. You never return my velvet jacket. It was my favorite. You look stupid in velvet. Oh, what does an imperial princess know about style? Oh, get a room, you two said Lafino. But the fleet was coming on fast, so they put Zenobia on the Farfarer and took her east over the Nexus. She'd vanished from Swordfu School, from his life, without even saying goodbye, without ever telling him she was the Emperor's adopted daughter. Ah, Lapina was right, Renato thought reluctantly. She knows things. She recognized his look. You're taking me to the interrogators, aren't you? She said, wide-eyed. And then she jumped, with horror. Renato saw Zenobia plummeting. Then he saw the Nexus below them. Cats always land on their feet. Ah, oh, she'll head for the Imperial outpost, yelled Lupino. You have to catch her. Good plan, Lupino. Appreciate it. Well, I mean, it was also my plan to agree with you, so... Also my fault. You know. Cats can run faster, but foxes can run longer. If he ran, he could head her off before she reached her minions at the outpost. Well, he did love a good chase. I haven't leveled up anyway. He was practically sure he'd find something useful in one of these things. Basically. <laughs> Gotta be Orin... At least a couple of these, right? Okay, let's head up here first. This is where I need to go. Oh, hi. Who needed bridges anyway? Is this the right way? Well, it's got a it's got a hero door at it. Probably not the wrong way. As much as it is the wrong way. Hey guys, what's up? Okay, what's what's this guy? Doing? Okay, so it casts a spell in a range. Super simple, but it's very satisfying. Oh, where does this take me? Uh, I don't know where I am. I'm somewhere else. He was closing on her. He could smell her fear. He tried not to think about the interrogators at the secret base. What did they do to her? Maybe it didn't have to end that way. Maybe he could talk to her. But, after all, there were worse things the Imperials had done to friends of his. 
Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna get a bad ending. The crafting for bench. Renato wondered what he could make with it. Oh, I don't want to upgrade my sword though. I want to get this next sword. Yeah, I should probably try to get a new sword versus upgrade the one that I have, right? The outpost. The Imperials there were no match for him. Soon after, Zenobia limped up the path. When she realized he was already in front of her, she didn't even try to run. Oh, you left without saying goodbye. Again, he said, please. I'm enjoying this a little too much. She said, shaken. Oh, spare us the chit chat, would you? Said Lapino as he shackled her hands so she couldn't throw spells. She knows all his plans. All the way back to the far era, Lepino nagged Renato about how the interrogators would pry all the intel out of Zenobia. How that would turn the tides in the imminent battle. All they had to do was take her to the rebel's secret base. Renato didn't like to think about what the interrogators would do to her. Couldn't he just talk to her? Uh, well, I'm seeing this. I see this as being a way for it to, uh, for her to find on her base and have the toad kill everybody. As they reached the ruins, Renato could see ravens everywhere searching for the rebel base. They'd have to hide the farfarer or go on foot. What if we get separated? Asked Lapino, for once thinking ahead. I'll draw your map to the base. Renato told Lapino. Renato, don't do this, said Zenobia. We were friends once. We... Shut it, witch, or I'll shackle your mouth too, said Lapino. And then, a few moments later, they touched down. Yep, she is 100% stealing the map, and we are 100% going to all die. Cool, good job. We lose. Let's see, let's, let's, let's see if it goes that way, though. As Lapino pulled Zenobia off the Farfarer, Bernardo readied himself for the battle ahead. I'm sorry I nicked your jacket, she said. It's just... Oh God. It's stupid, but... It smelled like you. What? He said, confused. Then... Why didn't you ride? Why didn't you far speak? Oh, save the romantic nostalgia! Let's go! Shrieked Lapino. So Renato launched himself down the path to the secret base. Well, they really needed to redecorate anyway. <laughs> Don't give me shit about smashing things. It's a game about smashing things. What we got this time? We got, uh... Can't quite get that. I wonder when that opens up. Perfect strike. We got combat. We need more damage too. Yeah, let's put up more damage. Yeah. It was good to practice your moves, thought Renato. Keeps you limber. Br get. See what's over here. I thought I was gonna swoop right past this chest. Be like, haha, no chest for you, bitch! No, I do. It's easier. Alright. 
don't have enough ore to do anything just yet. Or, 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 or. Shall we just agree to disagree? Said no. No? Answer's no. I feel like maybe the uh, talk it out thing would have been to uh, start a relationship with her, which would have been. I wonder what I could make with all these sword crafting materials, thought Renato. Really? Did he? All these sword crafting materials. Yeah, I have a lot of them now. I get it. I get it, game. I know. What's over here? Chest. Aha! Alright. Very well. I'll fight you first. Ouch. I don't know why I thought for a second that I had to hit the They caught their breath. It's beautiful, she said, looking at the ruins. This used to be the library of Ubar, he said. Before your father's raven smashed it. Do we have to talk politics? She asked. That's not how I want to remember you. She said with an odd, wistful look at her face. She was as beautiful as she'd ever been. And as brave. Papino huffed. They got back on the trail. Gotcha. Yep, this could have had a happy ending. But, oh well, blind went through. Maybe we'll get a happy ending next time. Oh. Hey, hey. Oh, ho, with these eyes, they've got to go. Ha! <laughs> Bet you never saw that coming. that like they get cut in half and it's very visibly needy. like nobody else really has any like mortal looking wounds on them just these up that high it's like being a decker and shadow you just have to avoid the cones just, just avoid the cones forehead stealth is easy Doorknobs. The long stairs. So he was close to the rebel base. Nothing was on fire. So far, so good. Always a good sign. only let you through if they knew you were cool. Okay. Ignoring that. I 
As they made their way to the secret rebel base, Renata felt strange. Zenobia was his prisoner, yet somehow she felt more like an old friend. He wanted to tell her all his secrets, but suddenly the ruins lit up with thousands of fireworks. There was a thunderous roar and dust rose. The caves were collapsing. The caves? Have you been playing me? Renato said, and he stared at Zenobia. I'm sorry, she said. She seemed almost embarrassed. Then everything went dark. When Renato came to, he had a terrible headache. Also, Zenobia's sword was at his throat. And her shackles were gone. So was Lupino. The terrible thing is, he said, I really have missed you. Now that we've destroyed the rebellion, would you consider becoming an advisor to the Emperor's daughter? I'm no one's servant. Everybody serves. Even if it's only destiny. Title drop. I like to choose my own destinies, he said. The whole point of a destiny is you can't choose. Oh, never mind, she said. Look, if I see you again, I'll have to kill you. He watched her ship soar away. He would see her again, he decided. Even if he had to fight his way across the entire fleet. All right. Is that where we're... Okay, we're saving, so I can end the video. The Imperial fleet was cleaning up the few rebel remnants. For only a moment, he thought about running. Ah, but heroes don't run. Even when the world is against them, even when their cause is hopeless and their efforts futile and pointless and useless and death painful and guaranteed, he decided to stop thinking for a while. <laughs> that's, that's, a fair, that's a fair mindset. Kill the Emperor. All right, we'll do that next time. So because of fun, I'll see you guys next time. Till then, till then, okay? Out.